In this video we look at count data models. More specifically we look at Poisson regression model. So we consider a variable yi which is a count variable. So yi takes on values 0, 1, 2, etc. So why I only takes on 0 or positive integers. For example, why I could be how many children an individual has. Could be how many patents a company have. Or it could be how many arrests an individual has experienced over a period of time. What we want to do is we want to model yi in terms of a set of individual characteristics xi where as usual xi is a k by one vector. So it could be that we were interested in explaining yi that was how many children a specific person has and then xi could be a number of different characteristics about the individual. So we do this two steps. First we need a distribution and here since yi is a count variable the natural choice is a Poisson distribution. So it means that the probability that yi takes on the value y given parameter lambda i is equal to the exponential of minus lambda i multiplied by lambda i to the power of y divided by the factorial function of y. And this holds for y 0, 1, 2, etc. So 0 and all positive integers. So two things to note. First, the parameter lambda i, sometimes called the intensity, is equal to the expected value of yi, and we condition on xi, and just note that this is zero or positive. Second, the factorial of y is defined as y multiplied by y minus one, all the way down to one. So this is just the usual factorial function. So this was the first step, the distribution. The second step is we need a parameterization that serves the purpose of linking xi to the parameter lambda i. So we want lambda i as a function of xi. So we say that lambda i, which is the probability that yi takes on a value y given xi, that we want to specify as a function of xi. We call this function small letter h to begin with. But usually we define this uh, in terms of the linear index, so we could specify a new function, capital H, in terms of h xi prime beta, like this. So here we have a linear index, which is just the sum of the x's multiplied by the respective betas. So note here that we have two steps and this mapping. So the first step, hi prime beta, that's a mapping from k-dimensional vector xi to a real number. The second step is the function capital H and that is a mapping from a real number to the interval including 0 to infinity like this. So the only thing we should note here about this function H of xi prime beta is that it has to be 0 or positive. 
So because the parameter lambda i is the expected value of y i given x i, this has to be positive. So typically, we choose, for example, lambda i equal to probability y i is equal to y given x i to be just the exponential function in terms of x, x i prime beta, like this. And this has exactly the property we want, that this is zero or greater than zero. But note that this is not an integer, this is a real number. This is the expected value of y i given x i. So, together these two steps gives us the Poisson regression model. which we can write as the probability that y i is equal to y given x i and given parameters beta is equal to the exponential of minus the exponential of x i prime beta multiplied by the exponential of x i prime beta to the power of y and we divide through by the factorial of y so note that all we did was just plug in the expression for lambda i in terms of x i prime beta. During the lecture, we will briefly look at the statistical model as outlined here. Then we will talk about an interpretation of the coefficients we will talk about maximum likelihood estimation and finally we will talk about equi versus over dispersion and we will consider a few extensions of the Poisson regression model that allow for over dispersion. We will do this by looking at an example of an exam question. So, we will base the entire lecture of one of the two examples of exam questions. And just note that all the other exam questions follow exactly the structure given in the example. So, this should give you a pretty good idea about what the exam questions look like. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.